Hello, I am Drag, and in this video, I will be painting, well, what the title says, a fat man in a pond. But not just any fat man in a pond. My hospando, Teddy. I wanted to start this particular picture. I wanted it to be a painting, and anybody who knows me know that I hate painting because the look, I really like the look, but it's always the, uh, how do you say, the one layered nature of it. So I am a person who loves layers. I use layers every chance I can get, but with painting, in order to get that actual look that makes it look painted, you can only do it on one layer, which means that the line art goes above everything. So, I had to do that for this picture, and it probably this is a, this wasn't the longest that I've ever taken on a picture. Overall, it probably took maybe like five hours. I mean, that's my average time. Maybe give it six, but because I stalled so much with this particular picture, it took me a good maybe week, two, 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 two weeks. I, I really didn't want to touch it, but I finally buckled down and I actually did it. So, I mean, whoop, whoop. but it brings me back to this place that's always been hard, but it's one of the perks of being an artist, but it's also kind of the downfall. When you're an artist, you always have to be learning. You always have to be trying out new things, otherwise your style will get stagnant, you'll get really bored, and your audience will get bored, and I mean, at the end of the day, nobody wins, because you're not making anything new, you'll probably just give up because you're not challenging yourself, you know? So I've been doing some new stuff, been practicing with values, which, which, which is actually one of the reasons why I wanted this picture to be painted because values don't uh, as far as i know the way that i've seen values used you don't really need values when you're cell shading because i mean they're gonna be darker no matter what the shading anyway i kind of took a leap of faith well i don't know why i said it like that it's it's not really a leap of faith it's just kind of you know drying i do kind of hesitate to call this a painting because just, just because of how exactly it is done. Because I used a pencil instead of, you know what, okay, okay, I'm gonna move on. One of the uh, people that I have been watching lately is an artist by the name of Momo Deary. I'll probably just link them right there. I mean, uh, show, show a picture of their art. But I was in one of their streams and I'm just like, I could never paint like this. Like, painting is just so intimidating to me. And what they effectively said was, well, if it intimidates you, then that's probably, that's probably a good sign that you should probably do it. I'm like, what? Eh, it was terrible. Eh. So I kind of buckled down. I painted this picture of my teddy in a pond doing whatever it is with his ludicolo. With that advice in mind, I kinda kept pushing forward and there actually is a continuation to this picture that I will never post on YouTube because I didn't record it. But I did, I guess, I guess those are kind of values, but it's all in the same shade. Hue, it's all in the same hue, my bad. I don't know, it's just very interesting to think how, what do they say, pushing values will do this. My point is, it's always about trying to move forward. And the biggest thing that you'll regret is not doing something as cliche and disgusting as that sounds. <laughs> But I can't help but believe that that's true because looking back on my entire life, 
The things that I have regretted most were the things that I did not do. So yeah. Thank you for watching and hopefully listening. Press that like button. Subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.